Good day, Collective. This is a general message for healing and ascension for my Leo Collective, whether Leo is your sun, moon, rising, north node, mercury, or Venus. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box, okay? Let's get the overall divine energy message for my Leo Collective. What is my high vibrational Leos most need to know when it comes to their healing and ascension? Make sure you're taking the lead of your life collective. Grieve any losses. And tune out distractions. Something could be distracting you from creating the art that God has within you. What's the divine energy message from my Leo collective? Correct your mistakes. Hmm. Okay. Leo Collective. Somebody didn't think things through. And they were focusing on success, but not in a awakened manner. Okay. They were not willing to make necessary sacrifices of what they gave their time, energy, and resources to. And therefore, the universe is not going to give them what they're asking for because they need to correct their mistakes. Somebody needs to do something different. That's not for all Leos, but that's for somebody here. That's for the Leo that's grieving losses right now, okay? That now wants to go with the flow and tune out distractions because they made some poor judgments. The universe says that Leo needs to count their blessings. I know what Leo it is. It's a female Leo, okay? That was just trying to live her best life. But now you ain't going back and forth with them niggas. Good for you. What does the rest of my Leo collective most need to know? My high vibrational Leo collective, masculines and feminine. Entire collective, count your blessings. Thank you, universe. I wanted to keep that out. Count your blessings, okay? Entire Leo collective, count your blessings, okay? Count your blessings. Everything is starting to fall into place, okay? Open your heart and feel the blessings at hand. You're finally accepting the fulfillment of your divine spirit. Be a success story in the world, okay? Moving in direct alignment with your full potential, okay? Your blessings are abundant and flowing. Even if you feel suspicious of all the goodness coming your way, this wealth is the direct result of your past efforts combined with your willingness to acknowledge all that the universe has to offer you. Expand your capacity to receive goodness and love without resistance. It may take some getting used to, but let yourself fully absorb all the blessings that the creator has to offer. It's the next step in the natural plan for your soul's growth. What does my, Kale my Leo collective most need to know? I almost said Kalia. Kaleo, Kalia. Yeah, it's a, a male named Khalil in bad health. He did something for some money. Or she. What does my Leo collective most need to know? We have mature woman and bad health. This could be a child's mother with the child card here, and she could be in bad health from dealing with a low, low vibrational masculine that she was expecting to change, not knowing that was just a horrible decision for whoever she considers to be family. Somebody could be homeless or about to become homeless 
and lose a job or lose some money and reputation because of this person because of this child's mother this child's mother could be a leo by the way what else does my leo collective need to know what does my my uh leo collective need to know mature woman in bad health yeah somebody is leo you could be a masculine leo and you were dealing with a female and this woman now is in bad health because she's an energy vampire she's a thief what else does my leo collective need to know yeah something with a house situation she it could be a mature woman about to go to a mental house yeah it's a woman about to go to a mental house because of whoever this uh, low vibrational masculine she either had a child with or from dealing with a low vibrational childish ass man. So if you have a child with this person and you're concerned and stressed and in despair, pay attention to any signs when it comes to your child, okay? Let's clarify. Or it's a uh, masculine Aquarius that's very fucking childish. And he's stuck right now. He's stuck and undecided because he ran too quick into drama that he should have walked away from. But he involved himself in a bunch of, bunch of shit that he shouldn't have with a couple of other masculines. One could be a cancer. Or with a car situation at any who what's the mature woman what does the leo collective need to know yeah four of wands housing situation so there's a mature woman that needs to make a decision to try to heal the discord and disharmony and illusions that she gave to a leader of a community or just a father and husband in general because no money has come out of that all the secrets about the attachments with this person has been revealed and nobody wants to work with them anymore wishful thinking it's a mature woman you could live with this person you can know where this person stays you could be in a relationship with this person um or marriage but or she could be watching if you are this mature woman, you definitely need to try to gain some type of uh, clarity that going to a high priestess to get work done on people's marriages and relationships is why you're about to end up in a mental hospital, okay? Yep. What's bad health? Um, if if you're a masculine energy and you're finding out the truth about glamour spells or just overindulging with females that are immature and living with immature as females, the universe just wants you to heal. Okay, accept those accept those losses and and grief. It came from you moving out of an outdated way of thinking, but that's just because that's what was talk to you since you were in the womb okay move fast in the shit if it sound good if it look good and stuff like that but you're breaking that because you see the drama that comes out of that situation somebody had a lot of drama at a household and they're using their intuition about that woman that they were in the house with because they no longer want to work with that person yep they no longer want to have anything to do with that person what's going on with this house Ten of Wands, somebody is stressed the fuck out. Could be a Sagittarius, Pisces, or it's in their chart. Um, someone's in the house burdened and stressed as fuck because all of the uh, tarot readings that they were getting on masculine energies and their relationships have left them broke. And if they are in a marriage or relationship commitment, their spouse no longer wants to work with them either. The spouse of this person 
or partner of this person is paying attention to their social media usage, the information that they that's coming to them intuitively through social media sites and, and clues and tips being given to them straight from the universe. They just watching everything play out. This may male may have plans on taking their fucking baby and keeping it moving when this bitch go to the mental hospital. What's main male? What's main male? Or the regular hospital. Somebody's baby mama could get very ill in the near future. Yep, with the nine of swords and knight of swords. Somebody's baby mama could get into a serious conflict situation and get uh, hurt. And you may end up having to get your child while your baby mama is in the hospital. FYI. Because you ain't got no love for that bitch and she knows. Mm -mm. So say you had a child's mother that was trying to set you up to get robbed and hurt. All she did out of this broke ass mentality energy was just set herself up for a massive fucking failure. So if you're a young masculine energy or just um, you're still growing, outgrowing your immature ways. Like you're not all the way immature, but you know it's work for you to do. You gonna have to grow up because you may have to get your baby because your baby mama about to end up in a fucked up situation, possibly hurt over some money. Trying to get you stagnant and mentally fuck with your rest in peace. It all went right back to her. Count your blessings. What's child? Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, you got a partnership with this baby. You love this baby. Your baby loves you. That's it right there. Period. Yeah. God is working it out for you. Literally, Hierophant energy, that's divine. That's divine protection. Your baby is protected from this, this, um, your baby mom's drama and shit. She ain't protected, but the baby is protected. And if she try to do something to your child, that's how we're going to knock her ass up out of the, like, off planet Earth. Real talk. Let's get Believe in Your Own Magic for my Leo Collective. What does my Leo Collective most need to know when it comes to Believe in Your Own Magic? Yeah, somebody tried to start a revolution with a group of, of bitches. Herbal witches, excuse me. They tried to start some shit with some herbal witches. So fuck with your happily ever after to get their happy, happily ever after. But the whole time all they were being was evil fucking queens. Yep. Or just any female in general. It's, it's some bitches out here, Leo Collective. One of them is a Leo, I'll tell you that. What's the believe in your own magic? For my Leo Collective, high vibrational Leo Collective. What do they most need to know when it comes to believing in their own magic? Don't be afraid to rewrite your story because your potential is endless. Your potential that you see within yourself. Not the potential that a female tells you you have. But the potential that you have within yourself is endless. Okay? The world awaits you every morning that you wake up to my divine collective Leos. Okay? So what I want you to keep in mind is that truly live your life is incredibly precious now is the time to make good moments and learn to treasure them as they come okay talk to you later bye